So today we're going to work on some bilateral coordination skills. I have a piece of about eight foot tape set up on the floor. Um, you can use masking tape, painter's tape, whatever you have available. And if you don't have tape at home right now, that's fine too. You really don't need it. But I do think that the visual helps some of my students when we're working on these challenging activities. So I'm going to stand up and we're going to get started. I'm going to start with my feet apart, one foot on either side of the tape. I'm going to bring my hands to my hips. Now just make sure you don't want to have your feet really far apart. You want them just a little bit apart with the tape right in between. And we're going to do some jumping, bringing our feet together and feet apart. We're going to go nice and slow to start, but I want you to work hard on just maintaining a nice rhythmical pattern, okay? So try not to go fast, fast, slow, slow. Try to keep it nice and consistent. So we're going to do about five jumps. Ready? Feet are apart, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Excellent, nice job. Okay, now let's see if we can do that, but just a little bit faster without having too much of a pause in between, okay? But again, try to keep a nice smooth rhythm. If you can't keep the rhythm, slow your pace down and do it slowly again. So a little faster, one, two, three, four, five. Great. All right, so now we're gonna add our arms in. So if this was a challenge just with your legs, don't add the arms, just keep practicing jumping your legs in and out in a slow rhythmical pattern. But I'm gonna add my arms and this is gonna turn into jumping jacks, which is really challenging for a lot of my students. So I'm gonna start with my feet together on the line, my arms by my side, I call this soldier. So we're standing nice and tall. I'm gonna jump my feet apart and bring my hands overhead to what I call mountain. So my hands are pointy at the top, my feet are wide at the, at the bottom like a mountain. I'm gonna come back to soldier, okay? So when I cue this with my students, I just say soldier mountain, soldier mountain. Practice it nice and slow a few times, ready? Soldier, mountain, soldier, mountain. Soldier, mountain, soldier, mountain, soldier. Nice job, okay. So we kept a nice rhythmical smooth pace with our feet going in and out and our arms going up and down. If you've got that, you can pick up the pace a little bit, but just try to keep it nice and smooth. Start in soldier, hands by your side, nice and tall, feet together, and let's go. Mountain soldier, mountain soldier, mountain soldier, mountain soldier. Great job. All right, so that's one challenge. Starting just with our feet, jumping in and out, starting our feet together in a soldier, moving up to mountain, back to soldier, jumping jacks. Our next challenge is I'm gonna turn my body and I'm gonna put one foot in front of the line and one foot behind the line. So the line is again running between my feet with my legs in a scissor position. Hands are gonna be on my hips and I'm going to jump and switch my legs. And I'm gonna do it again. And one more time, switch. Good, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go a little bit faster. Excellent, okay? Again, keeping that smooth rhythmical pattern. Now, I have a couple of different things I can try with my arms. The first one, I'm gonna have so I've got my right foot forward, I'm gonna have my right hand forward and my left hand behind me. So the same side of my body is forward, same side of my body is behind. I'm gonna jump and switch. And I'm gonna jump and switch. And again, and we're gonna pick up the pace and go a little faster. Good, and stop. Now, I'm gonna have my right foot forward, left foot behind, and my opposite arm is gonna be forward. My left arm in front, right arm behind. Okay, we're doing opposites. And I'm gonna switch and switch. Both my arms and legs are switching at the same time, so I'm still staying opposite. Switch, switch. And you guessed it, we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Ready, go and stop. Nice job. That is really tricky for so many of my students. Sometimes they can do 
same side of the body at the same time, but then when we switch, it falls apart, okay? Sometimes when we switch, they'll switch their legs and not switch their arms. So if you're there with your child and you're practicing this, really make sure that they're switching arms and legs at the same time. The last thing we're gonna do with our line today is we're gonna do with some braiding. We're gonna start easy and we're gonna build up. So I'm gonna put both feet on the line so the line is running right through the middle of my feet. Hands are gonna go on my hips and I'm gonna to step to the side, cross in front, step to the side. Cross in front, side, front, side, and together. And now I'm gonna come back the other way. Step to the side, cross in front, side, front, side, front, side. Good, you can practice this a few more times. I'm gonna change it, and this time I'm gonna cross my foot behind. So I'm gonna go side, behind, side, behind, side, behind, side, behind, and side. And of course, back the other way. Side, behind, side, behind, side, behind, side, together. Okay, final challenge, braiding. We're gonna alternate in front and behind. And we're gonna say it out loud together, and then I'm gonna stop saying it, and I want you to keep saying it in your head as you go. So we'll do this one a few times. Ready? Side in front, side behind. Side in front, side behind. Now the other way, side in front, front, side, behind, side, in front, side, behind. Good. Now, I'm not going to say it, but I want you to keep saying it in your head with that same rhythm. Ready? Go. Great job. So we tried a few different activities today. We started with the basics and we added on for each activity. So we ended up doing feet together, feet apart with jumping, and then added on to get to jumping jacks. We started with scissor jumps, foot in front, foot behind, and then we added the challenge of having arms and legs move at the same time on the same side of the body and then moving opposite sides. And then finally, we did some braiding, starting just with crossovers crossing in front, then just crossing behind, then alternating, step in front and step behind. So I hope you had fun today. These are some great challenges you can work on at home, just using a piece of tape on the floor, or again, if you don't have tape, just practice the movements even without it. Great, have a great day.